My name is Milan Chait. I'm a neurologist and a neuro-oncologist, and I also have a laboratory. The problem we're addressing with this technology is glioblastoma. It's the most common and aggressive brain tumor. The need in the field and for patients is a therapy that can specifically target these cancer stem cells that are resistant to our other therapies. And with the health epidemic of Zika virus, we all began to wonder, can the natural honing mechanism of this virus be used to target these otherwise resistant stem cells. Working with Mike, who has the expertise of Zika virus in particular, we could test this hypothesis with the models we have in our, in our laboratory. This is also a strong collaboration with Jeremy Rich at UC San Diego and Pei Yong Shi in Texas. My name is Dr. Michael Diamond. I'm a professor in the departments of medicine, molecular microbiology, pathology and immunology. And for the past 20 years, my laboratory has been studying how viruses cause disease and how the immune system tries to control those diseases. This is a disease which has an unrelenting course, unfortunately, where it's essentially uniformly fatal, even with current therapies, probably within about 12 to 18 months. Our goal was to try to harness uh, a virus, in this case Zika virus, which we knew targeted specific cells um, that resembled uh, tumor cells and to see whether we could get the virus to kill these tumor cells to prevent uh, progression of the disease. The current gold standard is radiation, chemotherapy, and surgery for these brain tumors, but these leave cancer stem cells behind. Our use of Zika virus is what we envision is it will be an add-on to current treatments to get all of the cells that are left behind. We have both some basic work to do in understanding the biology, the mechanism. We really also need to be able to extend it to other kinds of brain tumors, especially human tumors, and then we need to, lear uh, to learn some more about the genetics of the virus and stability.